Hello everyone, Ramit here. In this video, I will be talking on a change which is on Microsoft 365 app site like PowerPoint, Excel, Word. So what is the change about? Microsoft is unifying user facing Microsoft 365 apps and services to a single and consistent domain which is cloud.microsoft. What does this mean? Example, in this diagram, if you see contoso.sharepoint.com, www.microsoftisweb.com, teams.microsoft.com, outlook.office.com, outlook.live.com, every apps having their own web address. So what Microsoft is doing, every app will now come under a domain called cloud.microsoft. For ease of use of the users or developer for interface, Microsoft is bringing this change. So now everything like Microsoft 365, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, everything will, you know, come under cloud.microsoft. Like for MC Microsoft 365, when you open the Microsoft 365 app, which is which is now mccb.cloud.microsoft. If you open Outlook, it will come under outlook.cloud.microsoft. If you open a word, word.cloud.microsoft, excel, excel.cloud.microsoft. This is the list, not the exhaustive list. To see all the list, if you see the bottom of the screen, office is to have URLs and IP address range. From here, you will get all the address with the new changes address. If I click on this outlook.cloud.microsoft, it will take me exactly to the Outlook. The link is outlook.cloud.microsoft. Instead, if I write outlook.com, it will still take me to the correct Outlook email box or the address. That means there is no major impact. If we even use the old address, okay, if we even use a new address, that doesn't matter. But going forward, that address, the original address will be or the domain will be with cloud.microsoft. Why this change? The growth of Microsoft Cloud Services led to the expansion of the domain space they occupy, resulting in hundreds of domains that, like I have showcased, right? So this fragmentation is a challenge for end user navigation, administrative simplicity, and the development of cross app experience. So to solve this problem and to make it easier for customers, end users and app developers to interface with Microsoft Institute of Apps and Services, Microsoft has designated a special domain, which is cloud.microsoft. So that's basically the change. The last thing I would like to talk about, which is preparation or what you need to prepare for this change. Basically, there is no big change. As I mentioned, Microsoft anticipates no major changes in how customer use the Microsoft Institute of App. However, if your organization requires URLs to be allow listed for network access, Please ensure the new URL is included. So that is the only thing you need to consider. Okay. So when this will be rolled out? So this will be rolled out. I'm just preparing this or making this video on December 2024. It will be on mid Jan 2025. So this rollout will occur automatically by the specified date with no admin action required prior to the rollout. Considering or you may consider notifying your users about the change and updating any relevant documentation. So that's it. There is no big change. It's just a domain change and it will also, you know, uh, if they also use the old one, outlook.live.com, outlook.com, something like that, that will redirect to the new domain. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.